Hello everyone. Welcome back to my knowledge share session. Learn with me. Today we are going to continue with the same topic, a cloud platform integration. In that, we are going to discuss about the mail adapter. Mail adapter uh, from the sender point of view, and the mail adapter at the receiver point of view. So this is what we are going to discuss now. Uh, before going that, uh, just I'll give you a uh, brief about the usage of this mail adapter in a business scenario. Then I will go to the iFlow. Then explain what are the properties we have to set for the mail adapter in terms of sender as well as a receiver side. Okay. Now let me go to the diagram. Now we can see the uh, diagram now. Uh, this is the actual one of the business scenario. In fact, okay. Assume that there are some IoT devices from your uh, plant or somewhere else that will send you some sensor information to your system. Okay. So that will send you in a form of a mail. There will be a common name box for your company. there the external system will communicate to you okay the iot system can send a mail to you or there are some uh, a help desk kind of things people will say raise a, a problem to you uh, in terms of a mail generally they will have a help desk tool assume that there are an interface for email also so they can send a email to a particular email address so that the system will read the email and create automatically the help desk tickets okay other cases there are some events whenever a purchase purchase order is created purchase order is changed or something like that it will send out an email to a common email box so that appropriate persons can look into that or something like a individual member will send an email to you for an example and a vendor will send a purchase order to you so that the system will read the inbox and send it to the a procurement department or what are the things okay now in the cpa point of view there are two adapters one is a sender adapter other one is a receiver adapter sender adapter will be useful to read an email inbox of your email system and the receiver adapter you know that you are sending in a notification to a, a certain person or certain department so now we are going to see the uh, how a sender adapter can be configured inside the cpi iflow so that it can read an email from a inbox and this probably you might be knowing you will be sending a notification to a uh, some members or some department based on some actions carried out okay okay now this is the scenario now we will go to iflow and uh, i will show you how this adapter can be configured like this see how the uh, adapter can be configured in the from the sender point of view and uh, to the sending out receiver point of view okay okay now i will show you in detail okay now i am inside the uh, btp so this, this is the iflow i just created uh, already created just i will explain you what are the things to be done okay it's a very simple live flow i don't want to make too much time on creating a i flow and show it to you so i already i am going to explain what is the property that i already set it just to avoid the video time okay so let me go to this is the i flow okay So as you know, it's a very simple iFlow. There is a sender, there is a receiver. Uh, sender is here is my an inbox. 
through this adapter i am going to read the inbox and in the integration process there is a simple content modifier just to show you what contents i have read it okay and this is the receiver adapter which will send out an information to the receiver by this email adapter okay okay so you will be knowing how to connect this uh, iflow endpoint via the adapter generally we will be using a https adapter now we are going i am going i will be using a mail adapter in this case okay you can choose a mail adapter once i choose the mail adapter uh, you will have uh, properties like this general you can give the name as it is so i am not going to change anything here and when you go for a connection this is very important for the uh, sender adapter in for a mail that means you are going to read an a content from an inbox so the address will be like this for gmail it is this for other email you can find it out from the google so for gmail it is imap.gmail.com at port 993 okay a uh, proxy type is internet uh, if you are having a uh, on premises probably you can choose the on premises accordingly this address and port will be changing and time out you can give uh, three, 300 3000 milliseconds and this production is always imaps be remember this is not uh, uh, sort ls mandatory or sort ls optional it should be imap then you can read the email inbox authentication is you know this a plain password and credential should be already created at your key store for these things this is your email uh, gmail uh, email user id and password remember in this case the user id is same your email address but password will be a application password for a gmail you will be knowing how to create application password for a gmail uh, that you can do it at your end so in the gmail account account side uh, there is an option to create a password for an application so that every application is having its own password like when you are connecting to the uh, gmail inbox with a normal browser then it is a email id and password but you are connecting via an application then gmail should authenticate you correctly so gmail is having an has provided an option to create password for each application suppose you are connecting from a cpi you are connecting it from some other applications or uh, like that so that you will create credential in the in the this section monitor section there will be like credentials you will create one credential name we using that application password of a gmail okay that is the credential name i gave it here uh, there are a lot of videos available to create how to create application password in the gmail you can see that okay so this is the connection point of view and processing you will you will have the folder you are going to read a folder inbox and the selection what are the things you want to select only the android items or red items also like that you can create it and how many messages to be read at one poll so i set it to only one one email per poll okay and uh, lock time is this milliseconds in 60 and once it is read then what do you want to do whether you want to archive it or archive and mark as read or delete it or mark as read in my case i keep it as a mark as read okay and include the original email you keep all these things as default okay 
now comes the part scheduler okay now you should be worrying how how where i am specifying my uh, inbox right email id so that will be uh, that will be decided in the credentials side right in the credential you will be setting what is my uh, email id and what is my application password okay so with that information it will connect to that inbox of that user and read all the things finally you will have a scheduler option so what you can do is you can schedule at, at what frequency the mail should be read okay so what i will do i will do it schedule for a recurrence i will create every one minute i am going to read an email read the inbox and find out whether it is uh, any inbox any email has come or not with that it will do so this is very straightforward you can understand every one minute between this time on this time zone right that's all this is how the sender thing is completed now once it is sent then in the content modifier just the content modifier just for explanation purpose i s i just created a variable i want to know what is from the from address can be find out by dollar header dot from variable and date you can find out from dollar header dot date and you can read the subject by dollar header dot subject and this you know in bodies you, you might be knowing that's it okay now the receiver side uh, mail adapter this property will something different you will not have a scheduler here but the connection will be same address will be instead of imps it will be smtp with the port 587 okay other things are same you will be i am using the same credential okay and processing here this is very al this is also very straightforward there you will specify from this mail address which you can specify it actually this is what i created for credential to this email address i created my application password and connecting it to it and i am going to send it a mail to my official address this one and with some subject called test and the body okay so b c c and b c c you can do it this is this is very straightforward for you so let me create one subject here like this size this is created and security security as of right now i put is none you can have any of these options which right now i am not sure about this i use none here and this is the processing part hope hope this is everything is straightforward for you except for the the connection point so for the receiver side the address will be smtp and port is 587 from the sender it will be imps and 993 like that and the credential credential is the pre requested which you have to create in the monitoring se monitor section right okay now i created it i i saved it and i deploy it once it is deployed uh, there is no postman required uh, this so it, this will this will start running for every one minute that i will show you from which user i am going to read and which to which i am going to send it that i will show it you now okay okay 
okay uh, from this uh, external assume that this is my external email which i am going to send one email to our inbox my inbox is Okay, I think that uh, I'm going to send an email to my inbox, which will be read from uh, this is my inbox. Uh, this inbox will be read by CPI, and uh, this is my subject of my email, and this is my uh, body of my email. Okay, and just for uh, body. Okay. Okay, I'm sending it. So this is sent. Then I will go to my inbox here. This I should receive here. Yeah. So now this inbox is now read, right? Now my CPA should read this email and send it to my this address. Let us wait for it. Now the mail should come here. Mail should come here from this place, and this should be marked as read. Okay. Let us see it here. Let us wait for some time. Because I made it one minute, so uh, we have to wait for a minute. See now, now if you go to this inbox, this is marked as red, right? It is marked as red now in the my inbox, and uh, in the receiver side, I received this email. So it comes from that email address. It is the subject is notification from CPI. And it shows the from address is this one, date is this one, and subject is external from email address, and body will be like this, right? That's it. This is how uh, the system will work. Hope you understand this uh, concept now. Hope you understand this concept now. Uh, for a mail address, the address is different. IMPS for the receiver, it is S M T S M T P. That's all. Okay. Hope this session is useful to you. And uh, please do comment your remarks. And I will answer back. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much.